Une buk, Sheriff Usta. Is Yusuf with you? An attack in this city demands his attention. What is our situation? We beat back the vanguard, but they are sure to send more troops. Are your men ready for another fight? They are now. The Templars are preparing to attack the Galata Assassin Den. Or Galata Assassin Den, sorry. Lead your fellow assassins in its defense. Yeah! Best yeah. mission in the game. <laughs> yep. Another one of the many mini games in this game Den Defense. Pretty much explain this one, it's like it's like playing a tower defense game. That's pretty much exactly what it is. Kind of. There's only one path. Well, yeah, like, there's only it's one path. Straight course, line. But yeah, you know. Not a lot of people really like this minigame. Do does anyone like it? I don't I think anyone, if anyone likes it. Den Defense. I really don't like it. I really don't. I love Den Defense. It's like the best thing about the game. Okay, you got your um basic controls here, there's really no point in zooming in, but, you know. <sighs> Units cannot be placed until a uh, locked rooftop has been unlocked, so you have to put assassin leaders on each rooftop in order to unlock them. They will never die. And then you gotta select crossbow men, which are your basic attacking men. Uh, like, well, it should be self-explanatory in just a little bit, because, like I said, it's like tower defense. Now, it really wouldn't be bad. I mean, uh, I'm not really good at tower defense. I kind of like playing tower defense games, but this this For thing has quite a few games. quite a few flaws. Oh, uh, like if if you do that. I mean, this den defense here is uh, mandatory to go through, so it's really not all that hard. But uh, once you get to actual den defenses, which are pretty difficult, when it zooms in like that, it becomes very distracting. Hold that point for me. Because you don't, you don't want to watch that. You don't. See, you, you don't want to make a den defense happen. Because you can actually prevent them from happening. Don't let it happen. I don't ever. plan to ever do another den defense after this one. Ever. The it's way just, you trigger a den defense is if your notoriety is at 100% and you just do something bad. Well, yeah... Uh, notoriety works differently in this game as well, but we'll we'll get to explaining that later. Yeah, it's just, just don't do it. Just don't do it. Don't do it. It's it's don't terrible. Do it. It's I no one likes it. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we love Assassin's Creed and all, and uh, Assassin's Creed's awesome, and you know. But come on, this is den defense thing. I just don't like it. I just don't. I think they just tried to do something different with the, like the board of towers to actually have the dens be useful for something other than checking your assassins and contracts. Actually, not even contracts. Just checking your assassins. I guess so. I guess so. Sometimes experimental things don't work out very well, unfortunately. That's always an unfortunate set of circumstances when you try when you're trying something new, but uh, it sometimes doesn't work out because you know it's new and you don't know how to conduct it perfectly. Yeah, stuff happens. Yeah, stuff happens. As you can see, you can um, loot people from where you're standing. I don't know how that works, but apparently you can do it. You can loot their bodies. Can your dad do that? No, he can't. <laughs> I don't think anyone can, actually. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. Hold that point for me. Make your stand there. Make your stand there. Hold that point for me. Hold there. Make your stand there. I need you to hold that point. Hold that point for me. Yeah, this is Ben Defense. 
I don't even think this would be interesting to watch. Even if I do get in a dead in defense, which I most likely will not, I probably won't even show it because, you know, it's, it's just really not interesting to watch. It really isn't. Yeah, it's like really, just really boring. I'm setting up back here for uh, obvious reasons. Here's a little strategy that uh, is pretty common, but it works pretty well. You put a barricade in the middle, and then you station a bunch of troops uh, right next to it so that, uh, well, I've pretty much already explained it there. There are a lot of self-explanatory things going on in this section. Oh, here's the, um, like, the boss, I guess you could call it. Whoa. What's better for a boss than a tank? And... that eh, It's kind of a tank. Battling red. I don't know what to call it. What is it called? Uh, it's like an automated battery ram sort of thing. And they just broke through that uh, barricade. But, yeah. That ends that den defense. Like, yeah. like I said, that's a mandatory den defense, so it's incredibly easy, even though I kind of did terribly on it. But, um, yeah, like I said, it's incredibly easy, but once you get into actual den defenses, they're pretty difficult. And we'll explain how you can encounter den defenses later. Send word if the Templars regroup. I will be with Yusuf at the Grand Bazaar den. Take a ferry across the Halic. It's the fastest way to the peninsula. Alright. So, we're done with that. And uh, our next memory start um, is not in the Galata district. It's, uh... Well, yeah, it is in the Galata district. But we're going to be going over here. Because uh, you've got to cross the Golden Horn. I don't think I have to explain what the Golden Horn is, do I? I don't think I do. I'm not big on geography. Well, you pretty much know what it is. It's that, uh, it's the body of water between this district and the rest of Constantinople. You can pretty much tell what it, what it is, but, yeah. I know what it's called now. You know what it's called now. Yes, I do. Air assassination. And I'm going to loot this guy because I need more bullets. So, we will be getting to the memory start eventually, but uh, first I want to clear up the uh, two viewpoints left in the Galata district first. Oh hey, look, a treasure chest. There's money in the treasure chest. I guess I'll leave uh, this free-running part in. Because, uh, just to give you guys a glimpse of, uh, Constantinople. Or Istanbul. Whatever. Any thoughts, Air 5? Not... sure. Not, not many thoughts for me, either, because, uh, again, this is, uh... This is still pretty much the, uh, beginning of the game, so not many opportunities open for commentary. But even when we get an opportunity, we don't know what to say. We will be getting to a lot of commentary in the next section. And, uh... Ah, here's the, here's the viewpoint. Viewpoints, again, still work the same way. I think the, um, Galata Tower is, uh, the highest one in this game. I think it is. I'm, I'm not, not all sure. too certain, but, you know. Oh, I didn't even need to climb to the top of this thing. I did not want to do that. I did uh -huh. not want to do that. It's the first Assassin's Creed game. Playing it for the first time all over again. You climb up the viewpoint, but you forget to synchronize. <laughs> you just want to jump off because it's fun. Yeah. Yep. 
For me, it was, I always synchronized, but every time I tried to jump off, he didn't jump in the hay bale and I died. I've never had that problem. It happens to me so much in that game. In this game or the first one? First one. I've never had that problem in the first one either. 